Hey everyone, this is C-Dub here. Wanted to do a video to go over two things. One is the location of the legendary sockeye salmon, and the other is tips and tricks for catching the legendary fish. Some of the feedback I've heard from other players is that it's so daunting that they just wind up not doing it, so hopefully these help out. So the first thing you want to do is head to the location that I've marked on this video and equip the special lake lure. This is the only lure that will work for catching legendary fish, and you get it from an NPC. I forget where, but you can just Google it and they'll tell you. So first thing you're going to notice is that it's going to start struggling and trying to pull left and right to try to break the line. You'll notice when it's struggling, when you see it jumping in and out of the water like this, and I'm going left and right to try to fight it. One thing you can help do to prevent it from taking line back out, so you know, you're reeling it in and then it's fighting and it's pulling the line back out and it's getting further away. One thing you can do is use your right palm to reel, and when you see it start struggling, that's when it's pulling away the most, press down on the R1 button and that will help kind of lock the line, and that way it shouldn't take out as much line as before. The one piece you're going to want to note with that though, is if you do that for too long, it will break the line. The other way that it's going to break the line is if it's fighting, so it's splashing around like it is right now, and you start reeling in during that time, that's going to break the line all the time. When it's fighting, just try to tire it out, pull down R1, and that will help a little bit with it taking line back out. It's going to be a bit of a fight, and can't take up to 5 minutes. I believe that it does time out, so if you take too long and you're not reeling it in enough, it will just break the line even if it's not fighting. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The other one is it to use your palm on R3 to reel it in, and you don't have to go too fast. I found that if I've been trying to go too fast, it actually, if you listen to the sound that it's making in the reel, it might actually take a little bit longer. I think the best tip that you can probably have for this is when you're reeling it in, you'll notice that I'm um, pulling the rod back and then letting it go back down again, and I'm actually doing that automatically. So here I'm pulling it back up and then I'm pushing it back down, pulling back up and pushing it back down. So what this does here, and it kind of seems like a bit of a glitch, but this is how they want you to do it, is that when it gets closer to the, the shore, you'll see that when you're pulling back, it kind of like skips a little bit and it comes forward a great deal. So this is really helpful when trying to reel it in. So don't just pull it back and reel. Pull it back, push it back forward, pull it back, push it back forward, and keep doing this while it's not struggling. And this will really help the time it takes to bring it in. And that's all the tips and tricks I have for bringing in a legendary fish. As you can see here, my hard work is about to pay off. This guy's getting a lot closer to the shore. If you think that I've missed any tips or you have any of your own, please do leave them in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Damn well got you.